emu plumes on a felt slash hat, and a rifle across their back. 800 Aussie horsemen, many learnt to ride out back. They swept towards the Turkish lines across the Sinai sand to Besheba, where the Turkish troops did elect to make their stand. It was a secret to this desert war, the only water to be found, and 5,000 British troops had failed to take the town. This Australian light horseman had a commander named Chevelle, his orders were impossible, they were to take the well. 6,000 yards to the Turkish lines must these gallant horsemen ride, at full gallop they must go till they reached the Turkish side. Artillery shells flew overhead as across the sand they raced, not fast enough for the Turkish guns to check their lightning pace. And as they cleared the Turkish trenches, machine gun bullets filled the air, but they sped on to Besheba with the Turks now in despair. And with bayonets drawn, they charged the town. They were a fearsome sight. But they had fulfilled their orders. They took the town by night. The 38 gallant horsemen paid the ultimate price to see the fulfilment of God's prophecy to set Jerusalem free. Thank you.